First look at the official build of TOTOS 5.2 running on the Xiaomi POCO F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Munchie here, back with another video. And guess what? The first build of TOTOS 5.2 is available for the Xiaomi POCO F1. I am running the official build. This is your build which has G apps baked in. Security patch is from October. The kernel they are using is Silver Core SE Linux is set as enforcing. And you're not here for all of that. You are here for the elephant in the room, which is your Monet Wannabe and Monet UI. So let us jump right in. Press and hold on the empty space on your home screen. Go into wallpaper. Papers. bam here it is you have the different options on your screen right now you can schedule wallpapers with dot os 5.2 then you have the option of built in wallpapers as well then you have some dot os exclusive wallpapers and you also have live wallpapers do note monet wannabe is not going to work with live wallpapers or you can always pick a wallpaper from your gallery now before we apply any wallpaper let us go ahead and check how the volume panel looks like so this is how your volume panel is going to look like this is how the quick settings panel look like and we can also go into settings you will notice that it has the shade of the wallpaper in there and i am showing you all of this because once we change the wallpaper monet ui is going to kick in and with android 12 google is calling it material U. so let us go into pick from gallery choose a wallpaper let us choose the one from matrix and if you tap on colors it is going to give you the option of all the colors which are being used in this specific color palette now there is a minor issue which i have noticed and the animation here is kind of wonky but again we are getting android 12 ui on android 11 so that is something which needs to be appreciated then tap on apply you get the option of applying it to your home screen lock screen or both let us say both now do note the changes do take some time to kick in so you have to be patient there it is the wallpaper was applied the transition animation was pretty smooth as well is it working on my lock screen yep it is working on my lock screen like a boss now let us have a look at the volume panel did the volume panel get material u yep it got material u did the quick settings panel got material u or monet wannabe yep that got it as well did my icons in the settings get material u palette color yep working like a boss and this is how your settings is going to look like now before i forget those of you who are looking for a comparison video between monet wannabe and the real og material u we do have a video comparing dot os 5.2 ui with android 12 ui and that video can be found in the description of this video another thing which got the material u or monet wannabe is the calculator application which is baked into dot os super impressive stuff right here peeps and before you ask me hey Manchi, where did you get this clock widget from yes they have these widgets baked in as well now do note these are the widgets which they have created these are not android 12 clock widgets but yes they do look pretty dope and they adapt to monet wannabe as well working without any issues now that was all about changing your wallpaper how do you customize this stuff so here it is you can go into the settings go into customization you will be greeted with another awesome screen so herein you can of course change your wallpaper something which we already did but you have the option of choosing the different palette colors for this specific wallpaper as well so you can switch between them using these circle bars over here and other than that you can also use system colors in case you want to now once you choose system colors you can either choose the pre-baked accent color or you can also pick your own color using the rgbs but we are here for material u now they have a few more options in here first one is theme colorfulness what does this do let us have a live demo let us swipe it all the way up and bam there it is you can see it is now more colorful so this is something which can be configured similarly you have something called theme brightness so increasing this is going to make the lighter colors stronger and darker colors more subtle and vice versa so let us try increasing this and our dark colors should get a bit lighter there it is you can see the darker color got a bit lighter so that is another customization which you can do with dot os 5.2 then they have something called clock face now they do have the android 12 clock 
in there it is not enabled by default what you have to do is switch between default aosp and default dot once you do this you are going to get the android 12 clock on your lock screen now the dpi might be a bit out so what you need to do is you can go into settings go into display and change the smallest width to 390 by default this is 392 out of the box and in that case the lock screen clock is a bit wonky but once you change it to 390 everything is absolutely fine then in customization the other options you have are to change your launcher grid style so that is something which you can change you can change the system font as well you do have a bunch of different options you can change the the icon shapes also along with your different icon packs and you have a toggle to enable showing cards in some parts of the settings you have a toggle to disable the notification transparency and if you tap on more settings here and you have the other settings of tot os 5.2 which include always on display your app lock is there you can customize a bunch of other things like your quick settings and status bar as well now the next new feature which they have added with .OS 5.2 is something called gaming dashboard. So here it is. It is in the settings section. Once you enable it, it should show up in applications, but you do have a bunch of customizations for your gaming dashboard as well. You do get a floating bar and you can also configure what you do with the ringer in your gaming mode. What is the kind of notification you want when gaming mode is enabled? Do you want to disable automatic brightness, dynamic? mode is it is going to auto detect your games or you can add a game manually now i have added magisk so let us open it bam there it is gaming mode turned on if i quit magisk i get gaming mode turned off now going back into magisk so this here is your floating bar for the gaming mode you can of course take a screenshot in case you want to and then it disappears the gaming pill disappeared into a small bar and if you tap on it it is going to open it up then you also have screen recording now with dot os 5.2 they have added a toggle to lower the quality of the file size for your screen recording and another super important thing you need to note over here is that the material you want it want to be applied to your panel as well so the buttons here are your accent color of the wallpaper and same applies for the start the cancel text so yes monet want to be in full effect then you also have an option for dnd in your gaming mode pill and then if you tap on settings it is of course going to take you to the settings dashboard for your gaming customizations or the game dashboard other than that they have also added some customization for your battery so let us go into the battery section you do have your thermal profiles available for the poco f1 and you can choose them on a per app basis but if you go into battery manager here in you have battery saver profiles again these are battery saver profiles and you have four different options default moderate high and extreme now can you customize these yes so let us say i tap on high now high is selected again monet ui is there you have the material u colors tap on customize the profile it is going to show you what all things are enabled or disabled for this specific profile and then you can you know customize it per your needs by enabling or disabling the different options which you see on your screen right now then you also have a toggle to enable the battery saver you have battery saver schedule as well and then you have options to turn off your battery saver once the phone is charged to a specific percentage and again everything is material you over here of course you will ask me Hemanchi, did it apply to the keyboard unfortunately right now no it did not apply to your gboard which is baked into the rom now other than this they have added some new quick setting tiles as well so the tiles which they have added with dot os 5.2 are your reboot tile and the compass style all in all i would say pretty awesome dope stuff you're getting android 12 monet wannabe material you on android 11 pretty dope pretty dope next up while we were talking about the gaming mode, we can always open Magisk and check for safety net. So here it is, safety net is passing out of the box. We can also open the Google Play Store and then we can go into the Play Store settings here and you will notice that device is certified. This means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues. Now with respect to YouTube media playback, everything works absolutely fine. Live caption works, picture in picture works. Of course, for picture in picture, either you need to have YouTube 
YouTube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for YouTube premium. With respect to your Google Photos, you do get unlimited free storage for full resolutions from this specific device. And no, I'm not lying to you. That is what is available in this ROM. Also, if you try to edit a picture which has a face, you should get the option of portrait light. So let us go back, try to edit this one more time, wait for the loading bar to finish. And once the loading bar finishes, go into adjust portrait light. Bam, here it is. Portrait light in the building working without any issues. Of course, do note it is only going to work for human objects. It is not going to work for my chicken friend over here. Now, with respect to the assistant lady, she is present and she will help you with the screen turned on and with the screen turned off as well. With respect to the app opening animations, here are the app opening animations on your screen right now. As you can see, no jitters, no lags in the UI. Everything is absolutely fine. Recents, bam, here it is. This is how the recents look like. Everything is super smooth. Let us also have a look at my Google feed to see if there are any lags or any jitters in the UI. When you access the Google feed, nope, everything is working absolutely fine. Switching between applications, fast, super fast, no jitters, no lags. Everything is working as expected. Dope, super dope is all I have to say about Dot OS 5.2. And there it is, peeps. That was our first look at the new features of official build of Dot OS 5.2 running like a boss on the Poco F1. And that will do it for this video. Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares, and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.